to... Go to Proverbs 1 and 7 first. Proverbs 1 and 7. You're not going to hold you long. We've got to give you a word from the Lord. Am I going to need a word? Sunday school was off the chain this morning. Sunday school was off the chain this morning. As the kids said, it was off the chisel name. Well, I, I ain't got the glasses, y'all in trouble. Uh, I wanted to mention to you that now our services is on YouTube. Uh, from last week, Pastor Neville, Pastor Pointer, amen. 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 All the pastors, Pastor Motley, and Denise, you from YouTube today, amen. The pastor prayed last week, and the, the, the praise team, the scriptures that were read by the pastor Smith, Minister Jones, and the prayer is on YouTube. Amen. Look under House of Mercy. Amen. Uh, it will be on there. Uh, it will say um, devotional, scripture, and prayer. Amen. But all of our preachers are also on YouTube. Amen. Under Pastor Motley. And the other House of Mercy will be going to Pastor Motley House of Mercy. Somebody say it'll come up. Amen. Somebody say we, and we also have our own website now. Amen. Um, Deacon Dixon is in the room. I think. Where's Deacon Dixon? He's counting. Uh, uh, we need the address of that website, Sister Belinda. The, the address of our website. House dash the website address. House dash of dash mercy dot org. Dash. If you do the dash, is in there. If you don't do the dashes, you get a house of mercy out in Oregon somewhere. Yes, I know as good as we are. Thank you, but let's put it, put it on some piece of paper and let's get it cut out to give it to people. Amen. Amen. Uh, another thing I want to remind you, we're taking payments from Detroit every, every Sunday. Detroit payments will be every Sunday. All staff for the reason of the Holy Word. We're going to go back to this. We're going to hold you long. Proverbs, the first chapter. One, and seven. Somebody said, look at somebody said, who, who food is who? Who's food is who? I'm going to teach today about what we have to do as Christians to get closer to Christ. Because we think it's about preaching, saving, prophetic, healing. Right. Y'all mistaken. Oh, it's not like that. Speaking in tongues. I'm going to read this and I'm going to preach it to you. Amen. Y'all got it? Say, I got it. Proverbs 1 and 7. You got it? Say, I got it. And ask everyone if you can stand to be obedient to the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Just for the Word of God. Uh, let's read it together. The fear of the Lord. Mm hmm. Thank you, Father, we ask you right now to let me decrease, that you might increase in my spirit, let me speak a word to your people, that would enlighten them to be more like you. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my only redeemer. Lord, let the words that come out of my mouth come from your spirit, and let it be accepted by the men and women of God, so that we might be better Christians to walk this life from this day and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Today we just want to talk briefly, amen, on this scripture here and another scripture we're going through, amen, about being wise, amen. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and Look at somebody and say, who's fooling who? The question today, my saint to God, I'm trying to get you to see is, it's not enough just to come to church shouting and singing praising the Lord, preaching, running through the church, crying, snotting up tissue, that is not enough. Because, <laughs> Thursday night, I always have to put it on the screen, we were watching a show uh, on a Life Channel, 
and it was about uh, the uh, one born every minute, and it was showing women having children, uh, have a lot of women, different versions, having babies. And in that, that's what I, I saw on a clip, you know how they show a clip before the clip comes, like Judge Mathis, y'all know we all watch Judge Mathis, Jerry Springer. Or the? The days of our lives as the world turned. They just cut one of them off. They've been on for years. They cut it off, right? Which one? All my children. They've been on for almost 40 something years, 50 years or something. Yeah, they just cut that one off. And some of them used to watch that, so now you don't know what to do at that time period once you try praying. Amen. <laughs> so, so, so they brought this show on, and they had this um, a black mother with the Hispanic mother in law, when the daughter was having her child. And in that uh, intern, while she's having the child, she's having complications. So the complications call the doctors to, the nurses, the, the, what's called the nurses is almost doctors. Um, practitioner to, to thank you to come in and say we have a concern of the baby. Uh, God always got somebody concerned about the birth of Christians. Oh, that's another thing. Anything you see in the natural, you want to take it to the spiritual. So with her concern, she called in the doctor because the concern was the baby was in distress. Some of your spirits are in distress. You need to call on somebody. Amen. Distress means that you're not acting normal and things are going on in your life that are not natural to you for you to come forth and come out without a problem could happen after you are born. Amen? A lot of us are still in that stage of our lives because we're in stress in the womb because we have not been born yet. The reason why I'm saying that is this woman was in distress. The baby heart rate was bad, the blood pressure was going up, so she called for the doctor. And in calling for the doctor, the two mothers were in the room with her for over maybe six hours, seven hours, twelve. Well, however long it was, one was asleep, the other was in a wheelchair, and they showed that. But in the distress of the child, when the nurse left out to go get another call for the doctor, the one mother-in-law, that was the father's mother, started praying for the woman. And she was praying, I mean, Denise, she was praying. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus. I'm talking about she was praying. I want you to touch my baby, touch the head. I want you to relieve the stress. My God. And she went with speaking in tongues. I don't know what all she was saying. She's speaking in tongues. And then the camera stayed on her relative. And then she started shouting. In the church, I thank the Lord. The baby is going to be all right in the name. I said, my God, look at that. But my spirit said, just wait, it ain't over yet. So, after the commercial, they came back, and the baby was beginning, the doctor had arrived, and the baby was beginning to come, and they dilated her enough, and she started pushing for the child to be born. And the intern team to cut the chase, the baby did uh, come out all right. But in the babies coming out and they're wrapping the baby down and kissing, the mother begins to jockey for position to take pictures. And the grandmothers, right, they jockey in place trying to take pictures. So the one grandmother said, will you move out of my way so I can move your arms in the way? So they begin to be hassling over positions for pictures. Now I want y'all to understand what I just said. The one mother just finished praying that she was a bishop of some church. She anointed the girl, prayed, and shouted on television. A full shout by faith, not a half a shout. Amen. But when the mother Kizzy got in her way by taking the pictures, when they went out in the hallway, that same shouting sister slapped the woman's head almost off her face. And then grabbed her by the hair and kneed her like she was in the WWF. <laughs> I'm talking about on national television, Jones, after she just finished praying, preaching, anointing, shouting, and speaking in tongues. For those hundreds of thousands of people, they, they put it on YouTube in five or six different places because they want to show how phony Christians are. I'm preaching already, y'all. They wanted to show how phony Christians really are. Just because you don't see a television camera on you don't mean you're not being watched. And, and, and watch this. The biggest person who's watching you is God. So I'm 
always the question, who fooling who? This woman prayed that. Now, what I'm trying to get y'all to see, you ever been thinking about foundation building? If you have an anointing, excuse me, on your life, but you can't stand to be really human and mess with, What good is your religion? What good is you kids coming to church every Sunday? But as soon as somebody get out of